Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create custom audiences out of video viewers, which allows you to retarget people that have watched your videos on Facebook. It's a really, really fantastic feature. There can be lots of times where prospects of yours might have watched part of a video of yours on Facebook, but they haven't necessarily got to the end and seen your call to action and bought your product or become a lead or whatever it is you want to do. By retargeting those people, you can benefit from the fact that they've watched some of your video, they're interested in what you have to offer, but get them actually over over the finish line and get them to take your desired action. So it's very, very quick and simple to do. First thing you want to do is head into Facebook's ads manager. That's where I am right now. Uh, then you want to come and click on these little three lines over here and select audiences. If you're not used to using custom audience look like audiences, it won't be in your frequently used section. It will instead be under assets. I'm just about out of the way so you can see. If you select audiences, that'll bring up your audiences window which will look like this. Don't worry about all these lookalike audiences, things like that. To create a custom audience of video viewers, you want to select create audience and custom audience, which will bring this up. As you can see, there's tons of different types of custom audiences that you can create. I'm gonna create other videos that show people, you know, show you exactly how to create those different types of custom audiences, because I think that's uh, really valuable. This one's obviously all about video viewers. So you want to come down here and select engagement and then video from the top. Now. When you create a custom audience from video viewers, you don't have to use one video. You can use multiple videos. I'm going to use one for now. But the first thing, I just want to mention that quickly, because the first thing you need to, to choose is how much of your video you want people to have consumed to be included in your custom audience. So, for example, if you go for people that have watched at least three seconds of your video, then that's going to give you the largest audience possible. That could be really useful when you're retargeting people um, and getting them to take a specific action. But if someone's watched, let's say, you know, three or four seconds of a video, it's not very likely that they're that warmed up, that they're that into whatever it is that you have to offer. Whereas if you were to go for, say, 75 or 95% of your video, that person's really into your stuff. Otherwise, they wouldn't have stuck around and watched that much of your video. So you're going to get a much better response rate from higher percentages of your video watched. But you're going to have a much larger uh, target audience with the, the lower level. So it really does depend. If you've got lots and lots of video viewers, I would go with one of the, the lower points. If you haven't got that many video viewers you want to get started with this, I would go with one of the higher points. Let's sort of, for the purposes of this, start somewhere in between and go with 25% of the video. The next thing you need to decide is which videos you want to use and you want to be included in this. So you select choose video hit videos here, which brings up this sort of window, and you can see all the videos that have been published by your Facebook page. So if I, you know, have a quick scroll through and here we go. Let's go with this one here. It's got 37,000 views. So one with a reasonable amount of views just for the purposes of demonstration. Once I've selected that video, I can um, simply scroll down and select confirm. Now I want to choose how far into the past I want this custom audience to apply. So, our, so what this is basically saying is right now the way it's set up is 365 days. So anyone that's watched this video, more than 25% of this video within the last year will be included in this custom audience. Again, the longer the time frame, it's a similar uh, situation to the percentages. The longer the time frame, the larger the custom audience, which has its advantages. The shorter the time frame, the more responsive some, the, the, the person's likely to be. If someone's watched a video of mine nine, ten months ago, and I retarget them with a specific offer, it's not very likely that they're going to be that warm, that responsive. Whereas if I do it in the last 30 days, they're going to be much more responsive. Again, let's start with somewhere in between, one that I use quite often. Let's go with 90 days. So just for the purposes, I'm going to call this example video viewer custom audience. I'm going to select create audience. Hit next. And don't worry about this stuff right here for now. I'm going to show you how you then use this um, custom audience and put it into your campaigns. Select done there. Now that's going to take 30 minutes, as it said, usually a little bit less to populate that audience. Facebook needs a bit of time to populate that audience. Once they have populated that audience, what you want to do is go back into Ads Manager. This is, of course, if you want to target this custom audience. I assume you would, otherwise you wouldn't bother, be bothered watching this video and creating an audience in the first place. So head back into Ads Manager, and then you want to go into the campaign that you want to add this new custom audience to. Remember, adding the custom audience means that you're going to be retargeting the people that have watched a video of yours on Facebook with your ad campaign. Um, so I've got an example campaign here. If I just click on that um, and go into Example, Ad Set, and select Edit, 
that'll bring up the ad set options. Remember the ad set is where you do your, select your targeting. Don't worry about any of the other settings. Those are just for demonstration purposes, but you want to scroll down to the audiences section and here we've got custom audiences and this is where you want to pop it in. So if I just go with example, video viewer custom audience, which is what I just created, um, potential reach unavailable. That's because I've just done it straight away and that audience hasn't been populated by Facebook. You haven't given enough time. Now, once that's populated, I'll be able to run this campaign. Once you've added that custom audience in, all these other targeting criteria act as like an and function. So everyone that's advertised to has to be in this custom audience and they also have to meet these criteria. Because of that, you want to be quite careful adding in too many other criteria. So we've got Andy Murray in here as, a, as an old sort of example. But I would recommend that for the most part, you leave this fairly broad. Because again, you're only targeting people that have already Scroll down, only talk to people that already watched a video of yours, watched 125% of video of yours in this case. If you narrow these, add the, let's say this audience only a couple thousand people. If you were to add in loads of targeted criteria, you might end up with a tiny audience, your ad might, might not run, and you're just narrowing it down, itself down too much. So leave it open. Then you just need to publish a campaign. Obviously, you need to fiddle around with your ad and all that stuff. But this is a great custom audience to, re to create and a, a great group of people to retarget. People that watch your video on Facebook, particularly ones that reach those higher percentages, are into whatever it is that you have to offer. Otherwise, they wouldn't have bothered watching the video in the first place. They just might not have gotten to the end or gone on to take the action you want to take, like becoming a lead or making a purchase. So retargeting these people um, specifically with your direct call to action is a great idea whenever we run video ad campaigns for our clients, we nearly always include a retargeting campaign in as well. So hopefully you found this useful. If you have, please give it a like uh, and a share. And of course, got any questions, comment below. Just before you go, something I wanna mention, which is my five part Facebook ad template, which is uh, like a little PDF guide that you can download right now for free. It contains some of the best performing ads I've created for a number of different clients in a number of different industries. If you're struggling with your ad copy, your ad creative, how do I create ads, all that sort of stuff, it's all in there. So as I said, you can download it for free. All you wanna do is click on the link in the video description. That'll take you through to a page on website and you'll be able to download it there. Um, should find it really, really useful if you're trying to get better results from Facebook. But that's all. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.